Yo, what is up, guys? It is Evan back with another awesome video. And today, we have Lego Bludgeon Transformer. Let's get into it. So this right here is Bludgeon. He is a tank, if you couldn't tell. Um, <clears throat> He's a Decepticon in Transformers. Transformers is, go look it up. Um, see, this is my first Lego Transformer. He's quite small, actually. Heck, I forgot a step. There's transformation, there we go. Um, so yeah, he's quite small in his tank mode. But that easily changes when you get into his robot mode. So this is him in his tank mode. It looks pretty good. There's not much to say about it. He does have the uh, tank barrel on it. Hang on, just a sec. He does have the tank barrel on it, so, you know, he can shoot. Not really, but he does have the tank barrel on it. You can look inside of it. There you go. <coughs> He does have somewhat of treads. And here's the bottom. Got a little bit of visible head syndrome. Yeah, other than that, he looks pretty good. Now we're gonna get on to transforming him. So first thing you're gonna you're gonna wanna do if you build this guy, is you're gonna wanna rotate these arms out. So now he looks like this. And you're gonna wanna rotate these and it is quite difficult sometimes because the little arm pivot gets stuck on this piece right here so sometimes it is a little bit of a struggle but once you do that it's like this oh geez you guys fell over oh no all right let's make the tripod a little bit better all right so we're just going to do the same on the other side. Got that. Okay. Rotate the arm down so it looks like this. Rotate this down. Bring these legs down. Now he's got a pair of legs. Rotate the head crest. So he's got the little samurai crest. Then you're going to slide this down. It's not much of a slide. But it does give it a little bit more detail. And then you're going to want to rotate the cannon barrel around. Until the sword is like this. There you go. You got bludgeon. Now this is a concept. Normally bludgeon is mostly orange and green. But mine is black and gray. Because I was going to make a stop motion movie. On a um, clan of Decepticons called... The Ronacons. Yeah. Here he is. This is actually a version 2 of this. The version 1 looked pretty terrible. Not gonna lie. So yeah, there you go. You got your bludgeon in his robot mode. So let's just make it a little bit easier to see we're gonna rotate you guys down so you can see him a little bit better now um he does have a little bit of possibility in the legs he does have transformation joints which are pretty nice because they kind of give him a little bit of a kick you can rotate them they are on a, a little pivot on here so you can get some pretty nice poses just need to balance him. And I don't feel like fiddling with it. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. You got that. <coughs> His arms can do a full 360. Which is very nice. Because these joints are... like They're like ratchets. Because they kind of ratchet in the, uh, the arm right there. So yeah. Now we're going to move on how to build him. So we're going to start with the arms. Arm one. I mean, it's not much different than the other arm. So here it is. You kind of have this claw piece. Then you have uh, the um, this little piece right here. I don't know the name of it. 
then you're gonna want a one by two grill piece for a shoulder pad just because it kind of looks like a tank tread then you're gonna want one of these one by two extended modified pieces then a one by one round on the bottom okay so we got the arms done for his sword and sheath you're gonna want for the sheath you're gonna want a headlight brick um two of these one by one uh tubes then a one by one with hole in it right there then you're just gonna want to take a regular katana thinking about switching it over to silver you're just gonna want to put that in there probably gonna want to push the tip out and there you go We've got the cannon barrel and the sword and sheath now we're going to move on to the legs this one is one of those hinge pieces and a one by two tile and then this one is an another one of those hinge pieces with a one by one tile then we're going to move on to the main body and head so for the main body where the uh cannon barrel and the sword and sheath attaches you're going to want a jumper plate right here you're just gonna put it in the middle stud so it kind of gives it like a back plate type look. And then for the back of his uh, pads, you're gonna want this um, one by two uh, plate, which works very well. And then for the front, you're gonna want uh, one of these tiles, but it doesn't have the uh, little anti-stud in the middle. It's just smooth. So you can push it up and make it a little bit more flush when you transform him. For his head, you're going to want to want one of these claw pieces and a one by one uh, stud. And then for the main body, it's just two uh, Travis bricks put in a orientation where it kind of makes it a little bit longer. So yeah, that's pretty much it for him. So yeah, see you later guys. Bye.